OWCCO, it's cloudy and 45 degrees. The Al Momberg Show. We're speaking with John Michaud. The book is More Than Otis, No Bull. And we're uh, taking your calls at 989-9226 as well as 800-327-8255. Yeah, hell is also, I mean, listen to the list of shows. Green, uh, Green Acres, The Brady Bunch, Love American Style, Mod Squad, uh, Gomer Pyle, USMC, Petticoat Junction, The Red Skeleton Show. Uh, let's see, uh, Simmer on Strip. Uh, I mentioned Green Acres, Death Valley Days, Hogan's Heroes, The Lucy Show. Uh, I mean, this guy was this guy was a busy, busy, busy actor. I don't know, how, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's amazing. You know, I, I'm wondering. You know, is he one of those actors where people would, uh, you know, they'd know his face but wouldn't know his name? Do you think? That's the way it is. Yes. Uh, yeah. I feel they they see his face but they don't know who he was. And that's another reason why I wrote this book on Hal Smith, because I don't want him to be forgotten. Yeah, um, well. I, I just don't want him to be another face on the screen, and people like, who the heck is that? You know, yeah, and, yeah. And they should know who Hal Smith was and what he accomplished yeah. during his lifetime. He was also in uh, Three Stooges Meet Hercules. Yeah, he two, did. Two of them. Yeah, but he, he was the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> No kidding. <laughs> if you ever see the movie, uh, The Three Stooges Meet Hercules, uh, yeah. they're on a boat, and wow. they're in the middle of nowhere, and he's drunk with all these girls around him, and he's in a big robe, and they're all in robes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, it's a hilarious scene, the way he did it. Originally, Hal wasn't supposed to do that part, but he was called up at the last minute, and he, one of the Stooges called him up. Uh, he said, oh, cool, of course, I'll do it, and he went in, and, and, and one afternoon they filmed the scene. <laughs> Wow. He was also in uh, uh, Fantasy Island, Little House on the Prairie, Ellery, 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 Ellery Queen, that's hard to say, Streets of San Francisco, uh, amongst others. I mean, the, the guy was really busy. Let's go to uh, Donnie in Minnetonka. Donnie, you're on with uh, John Michaud. Uh, I, I'm coming in a little late on this, but I know you may have talked about this already, but my favorite episode with Otis was when Barney gives the governor a ticket, and uh, the governor wants to see him actually to congratulate him for doing that and in right. the meantime Otis spikes the, the spring water <laughs> yep we talked about that and that's one of the all time funny episodes oh I know yeah. Barney, Barney, Barney gets ripped the mayor gets ripped and, yeah. oh jeez and uh, uh, one thing I want to mention was uh, when they uh, brought Return to Mayberry back in 86 and they brought Otis back they didn't use him as a drunk he had sobered up by then for the reason that your guest had mentioned I think mm. so. there, there's wow. a story behind that Andy Griffith told me um, in Return to Mayberry you still there? yeah go ahead okay. in Return to Mayberry um, Hal wanted to play drunk but the writers wanted to sober him up uh, and make the character different uh, and uh, he was a little disappointed Andy told me but he, he liked he was the fact that they chose him to be on the Return to Mayberry reunion uh, movie. Wow. And um, it was a lot of fun, I think he told me. They, they, what, what was that film, The Return to Mayberry? Back in 1986, they did oh. that. Wow. Uh, doesn't seem that long ago, but it was. So so he, I, I don't think I saw that. So he uh, came back as a sober Otis. So he was an ice cream man. <laughs> he had an ice cream truck, and he was screaming, ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I did see that. E everywhere. I did see that, yeah. And, oh, that's funny. And they, um, in, in another scene, um, they had a, um, Ernest T. Bass had a fake uh, monster in the lake. Oh, yes, and, yes. And Otis saw it and, and started screaming and yelling, and he went back to the courthouse, and Andy's like, uh, have you been drinking, Otis? And he's like, no, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to uh, Al on the cell phone. You're on with John Michaud, Al. Hi, I was my connection is a little bit bad, but I was just curious. I remember uh, the one where Otis was riding the bull. Oh, yes. Um, oh, yeah. I can't remember. What was the promise that he ended up riding the bull? Was it just one that he had, or what was the... I'll, I'll tell you what, Al, we'll let you uh, hang up and, and you can you can hear the answer. What yep. was that episode about? Uh, that, that episode was called The Rehabilitation of Otis. Hmm. And um, Hal, uh, Hal's character, Otis Campbell, of course, uh, was so drunk, he... He bought uh, the cow from uh, a local farmer, and he thought it was a horse. <laughs> and he was like, giddy up, giddy up, and he was going down the street. Uh, he, funny. he thought he was so drunk, he thought that cow was a horse. <laughs> wow, amazing. What year was he born? Uh, 1916. 
And, and where, where did he where, where did he grow up? He grew up right here in Messina, New York. Really? He did? He, yes. He, I graduated from Messina High School way back in 1936. He, he had a lot of friends here in Messina. Huh. Now, what, what was he like as a kid? Oh, my goodness. Was he a funny guy, or oh, what was he like? He, uh, everyone told me he was a funny guy. Very, I mean, he was a little mischievous. Uh, he, you know, he used to go hot rod, rod racing around Messina. He, you know, he used to... I knew I liked him for a reason. Fly air, <laughs> fly airplanes when he wasn't supposed to. He used to sneak out of the house to go to the dances and, and, really? and sing when he wasn't supposed to. Wow. In fact, his father didn't want him to be an actor. He wanted him to be an engineer, but Hal yeah. said, I'll earn more money when I, you know, to being an actor and doing something yeah. I like. <laughs> well, he, he obviously did very, very well. Yes. He, uh, he must have been uh, extremely well off. And uh, Did his father uh, live long enough to see all this success? Of course, yeah. They, his father lived into his 90s along with his uh, mother, and they, they, uh. they, they, uh, they were very proud of Hal. Oh, they had to have been. In fact, Hal built a house for them later on in life. Well, that'll help. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Kevin in Bloomington. Kevin, you're on with John. Good morning, Al. Hi. Hello, John. Hi. Hey, I'd like your commentary on one episode featuring Otis, in which uh, one of his ancestors was discovered to be one of the town's founders. Right. Yeah, a plaque for Mayberry. So it's one of the most, you know, insights as far as Otis as a human being, besides being a drunk. Uh you got a lot more out of the character. Yeah. Yes. We, we touched on it a little bit earlier, but, but you're, you're absolutely right. No, you're right, Kevin, because, uh, you know, at the end when he receives this plaque, uh, you know, he's the sober Otis. And uh, it's, a, it's a very moving episode, as a matter of fact. Yeah, and his wife was on and all that. Yeah, I never yeah. Never saw her before. Never. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And she was, she, was, uh, she was so proud of Otis. It was, yeah. uh, it, it was a moving episode. It was pretty cool. Okay. That's a good one. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate the call. It's 155 at 830-WCCO. He, uh, uh, Hal Smith did a, a, a TV, a kids, a children's TV show. The Pancake Man. The Pancake Man. It's time for the Pancake Man. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was in the late 1960s. The International House of Pancakes sponsored it. Oh, jeez. Now, this was, this was after Otis was invented. Yes, it was. Uh, how long did that last? It, it only lasted a few years, maybe. Really? Uh, five or six years and it was so, so, so what was that about? I mean the pancake man what, you know tell us about it well the pancake man um, he basically how had a big hat and a, his own magic spatula <laughs> it was a kid show he would um, he would do skits you know and he would sing songs and he would have contests over the air and uh, you know and they would show cartoons and it was an early morning uh, Saturday morning program or hmm. actually throughout the whole entire week and that the, the House of Pancakes sponsored, you know, for the kids to, when they got up for school, to watch and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And um, he had a lot of fun doing that. Wow. Um, and he all he would travel around uh, California as the Pancake Man, like like Ronald McDonald, <laughs> dressed in the, the Pancake Man, man outfit uh, with the uh, spatula and sing songs. And, you know, uh, Rance Howard, Ron Howard's father, told me a story one time. I yeah, hope we have time to tell you. We've got about 30 seconds. Okay, well, they, were, and they went to an uh, IHOP uh, in California, a couple streets down from the house, and there was Hal Smith, and they couldn't believe it. <laughs> wow, incredible. Well, the, uh, the one...